Greetings sailors, my name's Octotron and welcome to my YouTube video. Here's a fun fact about me, I love magical girls. I think one of the very first anime I've ever watched was a magical girl show. When I watched it, it was called Glitter Force, but its original name was Smile Precare. The Pretty Care series is like, the quintessential magical girl series for me. Cute girls fight evil with the power of friendship while wearing the world's cutest frilliest dresses? Peak cinema. Wait a second. Fighting evil? With magical friendship? Friendship? Is magic? My Little Pony Friendship is Magic was also one of my favorite shows during this time. So in this renaissance of my magical girl phase, my brain mashed these two things together and would not let me forget about it until I made it a reality. And so I did, for who am I to argue with myself? But before we get going, I want to lay down some ground rules, okay? Number one, I am not a professional character designer. This is just a silly exercise for me to practice my skills. I'm open to any critiques you have about my art or the video itself. Number two, as stated before, this is my self-indulgent, fun, silly art time. All these designs are based on my own headcanons and vibes I get from the characters. If you feel differently about a character than me, that's perfectly fine. I am not a showrunner. Anything I make or say here has no effect on the actual My Little Pony franchise. Again, this is just a silly little thing for fun. Number three. I have made some My Little Pony humanizations in the past, but I'm not forcing myself to stick to any of those designs. They're separate from the characters that I'll make this time. Now, with all that boring junk out of the way, let's get drawing. In the Seiyu, the main six are human college students at Ponyville State University. I know that most magical girl shows, as well as Equestria Girls, take place in high school, but I feel like in college all the same like thematic elements are still there, as well as being able to pick out the college majors for the characters, which is fun. Speaking of, Twilight is an astronomy major with double minors in medieval studies and linguistics. She is very studious and always pushes herself to perfection with her work. She also works part-time on campus as a tutor. She was on her path to being the next greatest alumni of Canterlot University until one day, her mentor, Miss Celestia, got her to transfer to Ponyville State University. The next thing she knew, she was greeted by a magical purple baby dragon who gave her a message from the princess of another, horse-based world. She was to become the element of magic and stop the destruction of her world as she knew it. For her civilian form, Twilight has a very academic fashion sense. The main fashion inspiration for her was Haruhi in the first episode of Oran High School Host Club. Like, androgynous in a pretty boy way, but also in a girl way, but also she looks like a nerd who slept in too long. Dream aesthetic to BH. I also gave her some lighter streaks in her hair, both to reference her mane in the show, and also because I feel like she's the kind of girl to be dressing over every little thing and graying prematurely. I can see her crying in the computer lab at 11.50pm trying to finish a paper due at midnight. We've all been there, queen. She also has a hair clip, which is the thing that turns into her element of harmony when she transforms. Instead of the Sailor Moon approach to the uniforms where all of the characters wear pretty much the same thing with different colors, I want to connect them with silhouettes and matching elements. For example, all the outfits have slits on the left side of their skirts as well as gloves. They all have pointy, horse-like ears in the color of their original coats. They also all have weapons, except for Twilight. I want to give Twilight a kind of witchy aesthetic, with like a celestial focus. I gave her a blue ribbon thing around her waist that I'm still not quite sure on. She has thigh-high boots with matching opera gloves which remind me of like a mad scientist. Her skirt is more flowy than the others. Her main attack is, like, a beam shot through her horn.
Woohoo! Here she is! On to character number two, Pinkie Pie, the element of laughter. If you ask anyone on campus, Pinkie Pie is the life of the party. She can cheer anyone up with something as simple as a cupcake from the bakery she works at. Despite being a first semester sophomore, Pinkie is still undeclared in her major. She loves to do a bit of everything, so she's having a hard time deciding what she's gonna do for, like, the rest of her life. She's very excited about her new role as the element of laughter, though. For her civilian outfit, as soon as I saw this image on Pinterest, I knew that's what she would wear. I changed around some things, like making her shirt striped and giving her balloon patches on her shorts, but aside from that, I pretty much copied it directly. That's what I get for being unfashionable. One fun detail is that she has a Tamagotchi on her belt, which has a little mini Pinkie Pie on it. She's wearing socks with sandals because... yeah. She also has a bunch of bracelets on. Her element of harmony, when not activated, turns into a cute little balloon necklace charm. Her magical girl form is definitely the most stereotypical magical girl outfit out of the bunch. It's super frilly and poofy. The main part of her dress is pink with blue and yellow accents. She has streamers wrapping around her shoulders and hips. Her shoes are supposed to look like little clogs, kind of witchy. I want to make her hair look like balloons, so she has two big afro puffs with long pink locks coming down. For her weapon, I gave her a war hammer that looks like a three-tier cake. It's kind of campy, but I also kind of adore it. I really, really like how she turned out. She looks just like I pictured her. Now time for the final girl, Rainbow Dash, the element of loyalty. Rainbow is a cocky girl who is the co-captain of the women's soccer team and one of the best runners in the school's club track team. She's mostly doing college as a way to get drafted into her favorite soccer team, the Wonderbolts. She's also in a semi-decent punk rock band that plays in the local bars on the weekends. You might be wondering, how does she have time for all this while still attending classes? Easy, she doesn't. Since she's pretty chummy with a lot of her teachers, she's able to get more excused absences than she probably should. Because of her slipping grades, she now has to give up the rest of her free time to being tutored by Twilight if she doesn't want to lose her scholarship and a chance at her childhood dream. Luckily, as a defender of the earth, she can use the monsters of the week to take out any pent-up anger and stress. Her main outfit is very sporty and kind of y 2 k e. She has Wonderbolts branded tearaway pants and headphones. I also gave her a cute cropped sporty polo shirt with a rainbow on it. 
I like to think that like 80% of her wardrobe is either Wonderbolts or Pride merch that her parents got for her, like for birthdays and Christmas and stuff. To incorporate a little bit of edge, on each ear she has some black piercings. Her element of harmony turns into a simple pendant on a necklace when not in use. Since Cloud Style has a lot of Roman architecture, I want the main theme of Rainbow's magical girl form to be gladiators, mixed with edgy, punk-adjacent aesthetics. Her skirt is intended to resemble a gladiator's, and she also has arm and wristbands. I kept her piercings from her civilian form. She got some giant wings, which she uses to soar around enemies and strike when they aren't expecting it, like a hawk. She has twin daggers as her weapons. I gave her these weird half pant things I found on Pinterest as well. She's definitely the most edgy looking out of the girls, but I hope you like her design! Here she is. Here they all are in their civilian forms. And now here they all are transformed. Doing these designs was really fun. I don't do things like this too often, so it's a treat when I get to. If you have any ideas about how the other main six should look like as magical girls, feel free to leave a comment. And make sure to octo-like and squid-scribe! Bye bye and best fishes!